as a hero. We decided to move to California because uh, I think we probably all together felt that we reached a sort of a plateau in um, I guess what we were doing in West Texas. We just felt that we needed to we needed some place to really kind of grow and and thrive. So uh, I guess as cliche as it seems to move out to Los Angeles. Uh, you know, it is an area where everybody is focused, looking, um, looking to succeed. It definitely, it's definitely not been what we expected, no. but it's definitely been, um, and it's, it's been difficult. Um, but I mean, that's kind of why we're all doing it. And ramen. Yeah, ramen's been our best friend for the past couple of months. The auditioning process. <laughs> Was, yeah. was interesting. Yeah, very. We, phase one was finding a place to audition people. Did that. Found the studio. And then, uh, next we had to like, we don't, I mean, we're new here, we didn't know anybody here at all. So, you know, we, we put up flyers. Uh, Jackson put up flyers at MI. Yeah. I put up flyers at Guitar Center. Uh, after I started working there. Uh, I mean, we all just started kind of hitting up people, but we didn't know anybody. So I guess really in between, we had to like start making friends kind of to, so we can branch out and network, which is easy to do in LA, but you gotta do it. And it's actually hard work. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. <laughs> we knew exactly what we were doing, but in a much more real sense, <laughs> we had absolutely no idea what we were doing. Yeah, true story. <laughs> the opposite. So uh, it was, it was fun. It was fun auditioning people, you know, but it was, it was overall it was really, really, really stressful. With Justin, he was the um, he was the first drummer we tried out, and um, we had a couple other guys um, send us videos, and they were interested. And, but I mean, as soon as um, as soon as we found Justin, he just he clicked with us not just on a musical level, but we met him, and we were like, you know, that's gonna be the guy that we want to be in a band with, you know, he for the duration of the band. John, uh, we tried out quite a few different guitarists. Like six? Whenever whenever we thought we had that one guitarist and we ended up letting him go that night, um, I was just like, fuck it, let's go on Craigslist and see what we can find. And sure enough, um, the first guy that I hit up, uh, he um, texted me back and he was like, yeah. you know, can we, you know, can we come meet up and stuff? And he came and had all of our stuff down and just... It was, it was the same thing, like, we, we asked him to learn a couple songs to come try out, you know? And, I mean, I've... Carpathia, but just by ear. Yeah. We had, he had no... Uh, we have instructional videos that we usually use uh, to help people out uh, like, whenever we're trying them out for guitar. Yeah. And uh, he, he didn't have the videos, he just listened to it. He came in and played it, and played my parts too. Yeah, like, it was... <laughs> he... There was no reason for me to be there. <laughs> then that, that was such a relief after uh, after like six guitars and we were just depressed after the last one you know and Chaney and I driving home what about Craigslist <laughs> fuck it <laughs> so um, yeah Dream Killers is a declaration that you don't have to do what everyone tells you to and if everyone is telling you you're gonna fail at something just because they're saying that doesn't mean you're gonna fail. Yeah. You can do whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter what they say. If it's honest in your heart, fuck them. Do it anyway. And yeah. you know you're gonna be great at it because at the end of the day, they're the people telling you you can't do something, and you're gonna be the person that's gonna prove it wrong. Uh, what you can expect from here as a hero, just the fact that we're gonna keep moving forward. I know we have we have a lot of a lot of plans. Uh, again, an album that we do have planned that we're writing for, uh, maybe an EP before the album, just to follow up with the with Dream Killers release. Uh, definitely plenty of shows. We'll be doing West Coast runs or tours. Uh, 
do like small two week ones coming up, um, and then we'll be doing national tours as well. There's tons that are already planned, but we luckily now have kind of like a good guidance and, and a big relief of our manager Davey, who um, plans things way ahead for us now, while we focus on doing what we do best with uh, with writing the music. So that's a great relief. We just want to thank you guys so much for um, for supporting us. It really means the world. Every single one of you, every single day. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. And we promise if you stick with us, we won't let you down. And we'll give you something that we're proud to listen to.